everybody, this is Perch and uh, Dire News, and I had to get uh, Joe in here. Uh, Joe, how are you doing? I'm all right, Perch. How are you? Well, not great, and I, I feel like you're also not going to be great because I have just heard a pretty disturbing news. Um, now, you know Saga, uh, the Brian K. Vaughn, Fiona Staples book. It's coming back this week, actually. We're getting the return of Saga. Yes, I, I heard it's been gone for a while. I think what is it now? Three years? Is that that's over we, three years? Uh, I believe issue. I just pulled it up. Issue fifty four was July of twenty eighteen. Wow! So pre pandemic, this book this book has sat out the entire COVID. Yes. Yeah, like most of us wish uh, we had. Um, well. So the the with it coming back on Wednesday, I think a lot of attention, a lot of people wondering what the uh, the most incredible, really one of the top selling books. Now it wasn't the the number one book, but it was very solid for a lot of shops. Is that what you saw in your your area as well? Yeah, no, it was it was always a popular uh, book. Yeah, Adore, yeah. And I, you've I, have you been reading it? Were you a fan of Saga? Yeah, I I read like a lot of people. Uh, I fell into that. I was getting the floppies all the time up mm -hmm. through like, I want to say maybe issue 30. And then at that point I eventually just went to the trades because yeah, it was, uh, there was a lot of heat behind it and it stayed level, but you know, after a while, like anything else, it's like, I can wait. I have other, there are other books coming out and like, uh, I was buying the trades as they were coming out anyway, on top of having the floppies. Yeah, and then you're just doubling up. Yeah, and then after a while of that, I was just like, eh, you know what, I'll just I'll just do the trades. But but no, it was um it was always a good read there. Um Well, I know a lot of people are very excited about it coming back, and I am too, both for the money. I know we're getting a lot of retailers. I, there are several retailers I knew where Saga paid their rent. That was their rent book. And and again, not their number one book all the time, but it was a solid, consistent seller. Yeah. Gone for three years. Uh, a lot of anticipation for it coming back. So number 55 come back on Wednesday. And uh, from what I have heard, the book is going to go woke. Why would they do that? I, I, I don't understand. The book has a amazing legacy for being a science fiction book, um, and now it's it's apparently going to steer into woke topics. What else are they going to ruin? I, I I don't I don't understand why. I mean, is it just a sign of the times that everything has to dive into woke, or even a book like Saga, a book that focused primarily on science fiction elements and family? I think that's what the that's what the book really was: science fiction and family. Well, it was really, a, I, I believe, a bit of a royal sort of intrigue kind yeah. of thing with your your prince robots and all that. Game of Thrones in space with robots. Yeah, yeah. I, I that's I when I pick up Saga, I think I want a lighthearted book, not a lot of complexity, just something that's going to entertain me with some kind of sci fi elements, a little bit of royalty type stuff, like you said. Um, you know, it'd be nice if they put a dragon in there. I was, I was like, I was hoping for a dragon, but we're getting, we're getting woke politics in saga of all places. That's horrible. I'm, uh, I'm glad Hazel's father isn't around to see this. That's true. That's, I mean, at least half of the main cast died before they had to subject themselves to a bunch of kind of woke nonsense. I mean, you look at the the royal rope, the robots, the, the the royalty. You never saw any hint. I mean, that was a straightforward relationship there that those characters had. For sure, I, I don't get it. The 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 mom, the friends. There was never any hint that this title would go woke, but now it's gone full woke. Sounds to me like image was lying. About yeah. Saga. Yeah. Well, I, they built everybody up to believe that there was a certain type of content here that we could appreciate and enjoy. But now the rug is being pulled out from under us. It's a uh, it's it's just another victim of the culture wars of oh. woke propaganda, storytelling, mixing politics and religion in with a con I mean, where it has no business. 
it's real bait and switch. It is. I I, I don't uh, I, I don't get it. You know, we we uh, Wiccan the Divine was able to come out straightforward non woke story. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Images had a lot of these stories, but why, why saga? Why so? Why do you think a company has to do this, where they they steer into like to to woke storytelling, where there is no woke before? Well, it's all about you know the the woke mob on Twitter. You, you know they need uh, they need all that. They they need to take everyone's hobbies and franchises away. Yeah, I mean saga has had a very established fan base that really had no interest in this kind of woke storytelling. And now, I mean, what's left for the series other than, as they say, going broke? No, it's true. I mean, we all should have, you know, sort of seen some of this coming because if you kind of squint and don't pay a lot of attention, Brian K. Vaughn looks like enough like Joss Whedon where, you Mm -hmm. know, maybe... Maybe you could see that. And you'd also confuse that because, you know, he took over Runaways after uh, Brian K. Vaughn. So that's true. You know. Do you think, I mean, Fiona Staples, is is the problem that the artist is a woman? I don't know why you would do that, you know, 55 issues in. But yeah. I, again, you have an established track record of a, a nice, simple comic everyone can enjoy. And then, then woke. Uh, I mean, this was a family-friendly book. You could read with your kids. You could enjoy it. Talked about parenthood and, and children and, and kind of space opera type stuff. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I don't. I what 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 makes the company decide after after what fifty four issues of straightforward simple family friendly content that, that we're going to go into a just a, a woke mess and and do you think that some of the news agencies might decide to cover this well i mean if they covered uh you know m&m pussy they'll probably cover this so yeah, that's true do you think m&ms will make an appearance in the comic i think they're bound to because comic numbers are just so low they're going to have to get back into advertising and they're going to have to start putting more product placement into the comics so i wouldn't be surprised if uh you see some of these characters uh you know popping a few m&ms here and there Mm, yeah now are you what what do you do with the comic if it does truly go woke do you keep collecting this comic or do do you take it out of your pull list you know i i think at that point you uh you go to your comic. Well, here's the thing. Yeah. There's a good chance the comic shop you go to now isn't the comic shop that went out of business in the past three and a half years since Saga was last here. So you might not even have it on your pull list. So you're, that's you're, prob- true. you're probably fine. You know, I, I, that's true. I wonder how many people, because their comic shop is gone, they, they just, they've never gotten back into it. So they're, they're, there's a good chance it can just sit there on the shelf which it's going to do anyway. And nobody will buy this at all. What, what do you predict the numbers of saga to be? Um, you know, it's hard to tell. Well, there are no second printings. Oh yeah, that's true. You can't actually get second printings. So communist thing to do. Oh yeah, absolutely. But the the thing is the numbers don't matter because if the orders are low, it's going to be because no one wants to read the book. If the orders are high, it's because image needed to print extra copies just so it can be reported. So that way it seems like it's a hit. Right. I mean, this comic qualifies for ESGs. Is that what they're trying to go for? I mean, yeah, no, I, I mean, you, you, you got to do, you, you sort of do that, and then, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's also, you know, the other thing, too, is they're, they're trying to bait you in with the lower price now, right? but now that the union went through, I'm sure everything's going to cost, you know, $10, $12 a floppy, so. Is that the culprit here, because there's an image union? The comic now has to change its tone and, and be more woke. Is that is that what's driving all of this? 
Well, Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples don't want the book uh, canceled for not right. uh, adhering to, um, you know, what the uh, sort of cabal is, mm. is going to allow to get printed. So, yeah, I, I mean, they, they have a vested interest in uh, not getting canceled. So they're, they're going to have to do whatever they say. I, I mean, with Saga going woke, what what is next? Is it Spawn next? I mean, are they going to, you know, race swap the character to be a, a black male? Is that what's coming next in, in something like Spawn? I don't think they'd want, like, Todd's a, a fan's fan. I, I don't think he would uh, do something like that uh, to his brand. Uh, so, so yeah, I, I don't, I don't think we'll see anything like that happen. I mean, what, what's, I mean, Savage Dragon, uh, being kind of a black male, maybe dating a non-white woman. Is that also, I mean, would they go that direction? No, I don't think, I mean, with, with something like that, the, the, one of the, the, the pillars of, of Savage Dragon is they completely stay out of, uh, politics uh savage dragon goes out of his way to never endorse a presidential candidate so true yeah so i don't see anything like that happening i don't know i i mean i it, it's disappointing to me to see a comic that was so popular come back and immediately go woke i i it, it's weird with all the evidence of where this all leads just seems like a very terrible business decision. And, and uh, I, I, I guess I wish the creators luck, but I really don't understand it. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess we'll, we'll see whenever, um, you know, more, more people report on this. I, I'm sure this is going to be one of dozens of videos about how a uh, saga has gone woke. Mm. It's going to be coming out. So, so I'm sure it's going to be a developing situation. I, I just, what what gets me is that it's a, a lower price point. That's clearly not to, you know, be an engaging book for for people. You know, encourage them to come back and read comics and reward uh, comic readers with with a, a fair price. But it's to make it easier to indoctrinate children, and that's yeah. that's what gets me. Well, you've got a child main character, so they're really kind of saying. I mean, even on the cover, the child is reaching into a hat as if to say. Surprise! Here comes woke. Yeah, no, it's 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 just terrible. We see what uh, what what you know, Marvel and DC have done using children to you know propagate their uh, their agenda. So it's it's just a shame. I mean, I don't even understand this couple on the front of uh, of the new saga book. It looks like some kind of uh, you know koala man and then a hooker and and a girl. I mean, that's not a traditional couple. I, I don't get. I don't get any part of this. So, wow! I guess it's uh, co-written by uh, Australian commie and Tom Taylor. Yeah, well, who's also a furry is what I understand. So. Wow! Yeah, yeah, that's true. Well, Joe, sad days indeed. But uh, I guess we'll we'll take a look at this comic. I don't know. I, I'm kind of scared to open up the cover, but hopefully they'll stick with the family friendly values that have made this comic a success and stay away from this dangerous direction that they seem to be going down. Yeah, it, it would be a shame to see uh, Image follow, uh, you know, DC and, and Marvel towards uh, complete unprofitability. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you, Joe, and and thank you everybody for listening. And again, sorry to break this news to you, but um, sign of the times. Try to have a good day. You make everything around.